Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. I want to say thank you for being here. It's raining outside. I don't know if you can hear the rain. I uh, have the window open. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. Off camera, when I was shuffling for you, uh, I saw the star card and the sun card. Um, so something's gonna be illuminated to you. You could be getting a lot of exposure. You could be out in the sun, getting a lot of exposure to the sun. Vitamin D levels are important at this time. Uh, also, you could be on some type of platform. You're getting a lot of exposure, a lot of eyes on you. Um, you're feeling hot or you're on fire right now, Aquarius. Um, also, this is how people are viewing you, just even, you know, in everyday life. Hot, on fire. Um, very... So I heard sultry, seductive. Even if you're not trying to be, this is, you know, this is what it is. All right, so let's see what's going on for the week of August 15th for the Aquarius. The week of, okay. The Nine of Swords. So we got the Nine of Swords coming out, Aquarius. So there might be some worry, some restlessness, um, sleepless nights. Um, this is overthinking a situation, going over something over and over again. This could be you or someone else. It will definitely clarify. Um, this is separation. This is solitude, solitary also for some of you or someone in, in this equation this week is going through this energy. Some conversation, some event, they just keep replaying it thinking of what they didn't say, did say, didn't do, did do. This is when the sea, when you have the rest in that sea of emotions and thoughts, when they kind of attack you. It's almost as if someone had been running from uh, the fact of the matter that um, this is it. This is what's happening. Also, someone is having the inability to cope with change inability to cope with the fact of maybe even being by themselves um, or that something is on the brink of being completely over okay so that's what's going on this week Aquarius what is the advice for the Aquarius the page of swords or the princess of swords okay so we got two swords cards coming up here some of you could be concerned about money money related issues um, money is a factor here uh, this week uh, you know what I heard off camera for you for everybody you know, this is for everybody but this is what I heard off camera okay so you're concerned about money you need more money you want more money something to do with money what brings money work you want more money you need to do more work Whatever that may be for you, whether it's independent work or if it's that you work for a corporation, company, you need to figure out what brings money and you need to be a part of that thing. Uh, prayer, manifestation doesn't bring money. It brings answers to your questions of why you have lack of. Also, it can bring opportunity for you to make more of, but it doesn't bring money. I, I don't know why, but I'm just hearing for some of you, you can't skirt around doing the work, whatever that may be, even emotional, mental, or physical work, you can't go around doing the work. So however you, you, um, the swords cards coming out here, definitely somebody's worried about money. If you're worried about money, do more work, ask for more hours at work get a second job get a third job find um get it you know monetize a hobby 
um, ask for opportunity to make more money. Ask if you could provide your services to whomever. But it's not going to come without work, Aquarius. I don't know who that was for. Anyway, um, so the advice here this week is the page of sword. Learn. Also, be inquisitive. Be curious about how to increase opportunity. The page of swords is um, is, is learning, is uh, eager to learn. Also, inquisitive. Um, the page of swords is also reframing from uh, pettiness, gossip. Okay, uh, the page of swords is thinking of new ways, opportunities ideas of how to make money i can't make this shit up you can go research the page of swords if you want to um so some of you are needing to think of ways new ways of how to bring in money okay uh, opportunity what is the outcome if aquarius takes the advice of the cards outcome if aquarius takes the advice of the cards wow can't make it up. Ace of Pentacle, windfall. Money comes into you. The seed of productivity will be planted. Wow. Um, new business opportunity, new venture. It says that your life will get into a self-sustaining groove, that this will be a very busy time for you, Aquarius, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. It says that you're at the highest level psychologically. Therefore, you understand your potential, your potential to earn, to have increased what it is you need to do to have those things or to increase. Um, the Ace of Pentacles says uh, definitely starting something new. It could speak of windfall, uh, windfall of good luck, money, opportunity. Um, it is the seed, okay? So it is the beginning of, um, of growth, of opportunity, of pentacles. You'll get something that will allow you to grow. It's also contracts, okay? Um, it's also manifestation that your dreams can come true because this is something realized in the 3D. It's like this table, it's real. So you'll get something real, a real contract, a real opportunity, um, a real offer. You'll get something real, okay? It won't be um, emotional or, you know, whimsical. You won't have to do much for it. Also, it says opportunity is right before you. And if you don't see it, look again. This is an opportunity being presented to you by way of the heavens. As we speak of heavens, we talked about prayer earlier. It's all coming together, huh? Ace of Pentacles, this is an opportunity presented to you by way of the heavens. Um, therefore, there's no chase to it. You don't have to run after it and chase it down. The bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Sword. So we have two Aces. When we have two or more Aces in a read, talks about progression so we need to make sure that we are progressing we are moving it forward moving the needle forward because this is just the seed here the ace of swords says that you'll be thinking clearly sharp you your mind will be calculating strategic you'll understand that you're gonna have to shape or reshape your mental process in terms of what Another another source card. This is about money, and we saw that it's about money because they have the Ace of Pentacles. So some of you are gonna have to reshape, redesign your thought process when it comes to money. What you do with it, how it is energy, where you put it, and if if, if where you're putting it grows your money, you're gonna have to start to really think about this. You can't be so whimsical, and so magical, and so spiritual. To where you're not being practical and you're not being logical and you're not doing the work, whatever it may be. This looks like a really good reading, <coughs> Aquarius. This is just 
No majors. No major arcana. Also, two aces in a reading says yes. Okay? So you have a question out there. The answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes a thousand times over. <clears throat> um, no major arcana. So this energy, none, is all on you. Spirit is, has taken a step back. And they want you to prove to them what you're really about. It's almost like it's a, a test of your commitment. Are you committed to this thing? <clears throat> Are you committed to seeing something through? This is not a reading about love. Um, and we'll do a love reading, but Aquarius, keep going. And I hope that you listen to this reading all the way through because it's just telling you that, you know, the heavens will bless you, has blessed you with opportunity. You have to grasp hold of it, take hold of it, and then grow it. And then you'll start to see spirit move with you because they can understand your direction now. All right. Uh, all links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading, we're going to have a lot of specials happening this week or coming up for the full moon. Also, if you want to manifest with me and like-minded people, uh, other individuals on the full moon, get in on that full moon manifestation. The link is below. Manifest new opportunity, new money, new love, new friends. Also banish, banish energy that you don't want around you or person, place or thing. Um, banish, okay? We're going to do that on the full moon. And that is August 22nd. Um, could be 23rd, okay? But um, all links are below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Get your own personal reading, especially... Some of you have question of what you should be doing. You're kind of floundering around in the wind, kind of wandering a bit, uh, not taking hold of opportunity. And it says it's right before you. So, um, all links are below Aquarius. Have a really good week. You will. Um, bye for now.